That was how the Crown Troop of Africa started the celebration. Family and friends watched as more poetry performance came from this group in honor of Edia Deniroku. Jenny Roku was the editor of Daily Express, one of the nation's leading dailies in the post-independence era. He was a sports administrator. He has hostings in political and trade union activism. He has represented the country in different capacities. He is a veteran poet. He looks back at how life has been these 70 years. Ups, down, rivals, cataracts, and falls. But... I will add it. I will add all of them. To celebrate with him is the creme de la creme in the society. They all had good things to say about him. Eddie is more than a friend to me. Eddie is a brother. I knew Eddie a part of 40 years of existence. He's one of the most distinguished journalists ever in Nigeria. Uh, you probably must have heard that he was once an editor of the Daily Times. He's a poet, he's a writer, he's an actor, he's a dramatist, uh, he's a consummate artist. His family see him as a role model. He's nice, wonderful person to be with, and um, we appreciate him. He's a very kind gentleman, and uh, he's always a, he's a pace setter. Because in the family, he set the pace for some of us, me in particular, to come into journalism. Eddie says he's not retiring soon, but saddened by the state of the nation. We lived, we, we drank, we slept, we did everything for Nigeria. Everybody is to his touch now, very bad. At 70, Eddie Adeniroku is still writing books and living his dreams. Indeed, he is the legend of our time.